it's Miss PC Tricks back with you again. Uh, this time I am going over the WinX DVD author. How to set up a DVD really easily with like a quick menu and just a couple clips so you can create a DVD without a lot of hassle. Now if you saw my previous video, and I'll try to link to it when I uh, produce this one, uh, I, you'll see that I'm giving away three copies of the WinX DVD author software. And uh, this is what you're going to be getting if you win. Um, it's the uh, it's just a really simple software here. It's called WinX DVD Author, and you can see the little uh, preview screen here. Very simple uh, interface, which I like a lot about the software, and that's what I mentioned in my other video because it's really easy to use. Not a whole lot to deal with here. So let's add our first clip, and you can do that by adding uh, by uh, clicking that button there. Add a really short one. And you can see it showed up right here. Now if I were to add more, I could put them all down through here, however much uh, 4 gig of DVD space would allow, basically. You can select a full screen TV or a widescreen TV. I have widescreen, so I'd like it to remain widescreen. You can add the uh, black bars if you want them, or take them off. Uh, I'll add them just because I don't think the clip that I have has the black bars already. And you can create a DVD menu or select not to. But let's select it just for grins and click this next button. Okay, so you see in here, let me move this down a little bit, that we have some preset images we can use for our background. And that's kind of nice uh, because you can use either what they have already or you can use one of your own. And if you want to use one of your own, you just click this little button here. And let's go just pick something. Click open. And you can see it showed up. And it's nice and squared up, centered there. If you want to add music, you can add that too. I'll show you how to do that. Let's go to my desktop. And I've got a loop here. Now, if you, uh, I have a chapter menu here, but since I only have one clip, it, I don't really need one. However, if you want to label it, you can click the little uh, font button here and double-click to edit it. There's the edit box. I don't need to edit it right now, so I, I'll just click out of that. Okay, so that's basically all you have to do. Um, you can select or deselect this Add DVD Chapter menu if you don't want it. It'll just give you the first page, the title menu, and the music and the background, and that's all you have to do. So let's hit this little Next button here. See if I can get that in the view. Okay, so you can see here that we have the DVD Builder. It popped up with a new box. All you have to do is select your uh, DVD drive device. Um, select an output folder if you don't want to burn it to DVD just yet and you just want to make a DVD file and then press the start button. And that's a lot of the reason why I like this software comparing to like Sony DVD Architect or Adobe Premiere Elements because it's a lot easier to use. There's far fewer steps to go through. It's a lot less painful to make a DVD than it is to go through all the steps and the settings of the other two software that I mentioned. Those are great for their purpose but this is good if you just want to get something out quick. Um, so if you want a chance at winning this software, I'm giving away three copies, like I said. All you have to do is subscribe to my channel by February 28th of 2011, and I will enter you into the contest. Uh, I'm glad you stopped by and watched my video. If you want to see more, you can friend me or subscribe, and I'll make sure I friend you back. But thanks for watching. It's been a pleasure.